Greetings once again. YouTube land, Cap and Crude here with another round two of In the Car, In Your Face record reviews. I mean, that's what I do. I love listening to music and I listen to music in the car on the way to work, on the way wherever the hell I'm going. It's usually in the form of a compact disc and it's something I could play very, very loud. Because I already have ringing in my ears. It doesn't matter. I already have tinnitus. So, uh, so enough of my yakking. <laughs> There's a quote from a movie. All right. So what I'm going to do today for round two of Crude Tubes record reviews or car music that sounds good in the car is going to be this. Guitar Pete. Can you guys see that? Yes. Guitar Pete. Raw deal. Uh, if you guys know who Guitar Pete is, lucky you. If you don't, you're going to learn right now. I first saw Guitar Pete in 19... I gotta say 89. Probably... A, uh, okay, I'm jogging my memory back a long time. If it was in 89, it was probably at the Cat Club in New York City or the Limelight. And I saw Guitar Pete with his band Snake Eyed Sue. And I thought this guy was phenomenal. He's a left-handed guitar player and he just rips skulls in a bluesy rock manner. And I never forgot this guy, you know, even though I've lived in different parts of the country over the years, I always remembered Guitar Pete. So, um, he's been releasing CDs on his own, I don't know for or how many CDs he's done, but I managed to get my hands on them, and this one in particular, Raw Deal, is my favorite. And... I'll tell you why, because this album literally is in the vein of like, I don't know, what, what would you say, like ZZ Top meets, I don't know, it's like, it's bluesy hard rock, and his voice is what puts it way over, if his guitar playing kicks ass, his voice buries virtually every living blues man in the world. So I'm going to play you a snippet of a song. It is going to be track number two. This is Battle Cry. So let me just turn this over. Here we go. Guitar beat doing his thing. And you can hear that in the music. It's blues based, it's rock. Isn't the most pristine, slick production. Doesn't need it. He's probably playing all the instruments on the album. I can't tell. Because all I know is he's a guitar player, but see, there's really no liner notes in this thing. It's just, it's made by CD Baby. And I think literally. Uh, bands that have to be on CD Baby uh, to release their CDs and MP3s as well are probably the best bands to listen to. They're not being manipulated by record companies to sound a certain way. Uh, they're not being told to, sa to sound a certain way. They're not uh, being told to look a certain way. They're doing their own thing. Where it hurts bands like Guitar Pete is 
you know, where are they really going to play? You're not really getting promoted anywhere. Well, there's guys like me who will promote uh, his music and give you stories about seeing him 30 years ago when I was a teenager. Uh, that, to me, is more important than, oh, wow, did you hear them on satellite radio? You know, whatever it is. XM and serious shit is. I don't, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I, I like music that I like. And that's it. You know, and I bring it into the car and then I recommend it to you guys. So, again, I'm going to play another track off this album. Uh, let's go to... We'll go to All, All Fired Up. Why not? That guy can belt out a tune as well as he plays guitar. So, in closing, so for part two on Crude Tube, in the car, in your face, CDs, Guitar Pete, raw deal. Get this sucker. You'll probably find it on Amazon. Maybe you may have to download it. If you like good hard rock bluesy playing with a guy who sings... I, I don't know anybody right now who sings as well or sings bluesy music as well as Guitar Pete. So in closing, one more time, I say thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Cheers.